Okay, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the levels... Oh, that's... Uh, it is one of the levels, I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me type in the right one. If I'm not mistaken, this is one of the levels that we had some issues inserting. I don't remember exactly what the issues were. Seems a little loud, but okay. Second, my controller cord here got moved up somehow. Okay, so far everything's all right. Presumably. I'm gonna go right. Oh no! That Telly was surprised as I was. Fun introductions. Oh, yeah, sure, now on the really jump-intensive level. Now my controller acts up. This is such a great track. There's a good remix of it. Oh, wow, what was I doing? What should I do? Jump across before they start to bend, so you go from the left one to the right one. Got the slide. Good not work. My commentary is just going to be humming, by the way. I might enjoy that. <laughs> We've established that I know how to do this part. And if I weren't trying to rely on just the buster on my first playthrough. Unless it's something I physically can't get... I just stopped thinking. Um, I'd be using special weapons at this point to get across that. But I want to see how feasible that is as just a regular jump. Because I think it's doable. I just need to do it. That might have been the case of the sticky button there. Seriously, the entire last level, which I played for like an hour, hour and a half, not one button sticky problem. Immediately, as soon as I get into here, it's like, no, you just can't jump at all. Control is going to do what it wants. If I don't get it this time. Jump! I pressed the jump button! I'm chalking this up to controller failure, not... the timing being a little bit too tight, because I think if I could actually get it to respond pinpoint precise, I would be fine. If I were using a keyboard, I would have gotten it by now. I'm going to try and be in position to reach 
for the one key if I fall. I didn't think fast enough. Oh goodness, this is just awful. I'm tempted almost to ditch this recording and start again and be like, Oh, look, it's a Metal Man level. Wow, I'm so surprised. I've never seen this before. <laughs> I will go back and do this right, but today, not that day. Yes, this is truly the way we're supposed to travel through there. I don't know why we need the super long from there. Ah! Oh, interesting. Okay. So we're just gonna wait forever for this pile up to get a new tank. That would have been better for a token, I think? Platform at. Come on back. Come on back. Do, 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 do. Now that looks awful suspicious. I wonder if that's a bottomless pit. Oh, now is not a good time for my everything to break. Wow. That doesn't... That seems way too tight. But okay. No, it's treated as a bottomless pit, even though there's something below there. I don't like that. If you would logically fall onto the screen below, if there's actual challenges on the screen below, I feel like you shouldn't be allowed to just die. Like what happens, but no! I don't like that. I mean, I, I get, I understand what you're going for, but I think the only way I'd accept that is if you went through the sneaky little hole there and discovered that there were spikes on the bottom the whole time. Oh, I tried to jump. But I was slow. Maybe I'm just playing poorly, but this does seem unusually difficult for so soon in the level. I mean, I know it's the nature of moving platforms and everything, but... Well, moving platforms over bottomless pits, but I feel like it's especially easy to just die. Yeah, that's so, so, so tight. I at least got it. And I'm curious to see just going back around. Especially when you have infinite lives. There's not a lot of incentive to uh, survive the return trip. Whoa, that is weird. And on 
precisely. Okay, make some of bears, that's better. Oh, and a bit of an extra shield, that's fun too. From. This level of architecture really doesn't make sense if you think about it. Yoink. Well, no, it doesn't make sense. Eh, I mean, I could have stayed there. Well, that's just not very nice. Yeah, I completely mistimed that. <clears throat> just trying to save myself a jump, but I keep ending up in the pit more often than I would if I just made the extra jump. The aesthetics are fine. This is totally, you know, completely appropriately Mega Man 2. You know what, I, I would have just, I don't even know if I would have uh, included the drops there, and I might have just done one, if any. Because I think riding around on the platform is enough of a challenge. And it encourages the player to stay up in the damage zone. Um, not the zone where they can damage the Eskaru, but where they can be damaged. Oh, that's cute, I like that background. Did I get a checkpoint? Because that would have been an okay checkpoint to place around here, too. Not much reaction time there. It's not a bad challenge, but it's a little sudden. Also, we've seen a bunch of those cha challenges like that now. A bit too much now. That's good, though. I uh, appreciate that. Oh! I think I'd like more of a note of where the tellies are coming from. Are you gonna fade out? Boo. Well, at least you had a very long music loop before it faded out. I'm gonna keep doing these little jump challenges. Like, that's, that's fine, but you can't build the whole level around it. Also, where is my platform?
Huh. Oh. these years fighting Metal Man, and I'm still not the best. Well, that was a bit of a letdown, just vanilla Metal Man fight. Still fit, just perfectly fine for, you know, theming. Yes.